All right, I was originally planning on running all the level threes on normal and hard before taking level six, but we've been capped for quite a while and, uh, you know, there's just a lot to do still. So I'm going to run, I'm going to actually go ahead and advance and uh, run some of these level threes, normal hard uh, on level six. We're really not having problems getting XP. We have the opposite problem. We have way too much. Uh, I did run housekeeping. Normal, hard, and elite didn't get anything. Unfortunately, the recording didn't work on that one. Uh, normal and hard was not too bad. Elite was a bit difficult. We got through it um, by using a bow and arrow in some of the parts uh, to basically make it a little bit easier. But it was it was hard. It took probably twice as long as hard. And so I'm gonna farm this again the next level on hard. Uh, just run it just the one time on or run it on hard, and then uh, run the rest on normal and hard. And then we're going to run the Reapers, level 2s on Reaper. We've run them all on hard, except for Stealthy Repossession, which we'll just deal with later. And uh, uh, we'll repeat those on Reaper probably several times. I'd like to get to currently from running the level 1s on Reaper twice. Uh, the first run gave me a little over 1,000. The second run gave me a little over 400. So, you know, 40% run uh 40 percent xp for second time run when not on ransack is is definitely you can definitely see where you want to really focus on the first time bonuses but we are going to repeat the level twos even at that lower rxp because we want to get uh to ideally two more points before we get to level three that would give us 16 more hit points and set us up nightly nicely to get this uh plus 20 hit hit point core uh you know sometime around level 10 or so so uh I did make one change. It's in the it's in one of the videos, but I'll just show you real quick here. Uh, at one point, I had taken this critical mastery. I went ahead and reset this tree. I think it cost about 500 500 plat, and I didn't take these three. I instead put one point to this core in sacred defender and two points for extra lay on hands. And then when we level up here momentarily, I'm going to put three points here and one point here, and then we'll have sacred defender stance, which will give us uh, significant damage reduction boost. Uh, first, I'm going to just check the auction house. We have about 17,000. I'd like to get a gem bag, but I'm really thinking gem bag is not my priority. And then I'd like to get rid of some things. I think I'm keeping too many things. And uh, the best way to solve our banking inventory problem is just by accepting we can't keep everything. But before I get rid of stuff, I want to I want to see if I can get a few things. Uh, so one thing I'd like to do is I, I really don't really think we need this anger step. So I'd like to find some boots. Uh, and this is really not giving us much except for the saves plus one. I would like to get a save item. And then if we could put this necklace on, it gives us death, death block, which is, which is probably not as important at this uh, level, but it gives us a stacking seven hit points. You can see that's a profane bonus to hit points. This is a, uh, probably an equipment or competence bonus to hit points, but these two will stack. And I'd like to get more hit points on my belt. So I'm going to take a look at level four to level six items, because you might get a, a really good gem in level four to level six. And um, uh, let's, we'll take a look at weapons first. I, I think we are okay with weapons, especially for Reaper. I'm probably just going to stick with this, this ethereal greatsword and Reapers, unless we get really lucky and get some sort of a, uh, or I get that trinket that gives me ghostly from housekeeping. Nothing too interesting there. I think we're, we're good with what we have. So I'm going to take a look at, uh, uh, let me take a look at helmets. We have a sheltering three search for, uh, I know helmets is a place you can get, uh, Resistance items. Probably going to put a cap and try to get to around a maximum of 5,000 per item because, you know, we can maybe get three items if we do that. Um, this is basically the same item we, item we have, but an upgrade. So that's not a bad item for 3,600. Uh, all right, I'm not going to bother looking at these other higher ones. So potential helmet here. 
for goggles, uh, basically we have spot, um, but they're three levels out of date now. So let's see if we could find anything a little better in goggles. I think spot uh, would be better than than uh, open lock for the spot because or, or because it would help us find the traps or see the traps. Uh, so it looks like we're coming up blank on goggles. Um, so we'll just pass on that. Armor, I think we're good on this This dropped in Three Barrel Cove, and I think we'll be able to wear this for the next few levels for sure. Uh, bracers are not bad. Let's see what we can find on bracers. The uh, Fortitude plus one save does not stack with the Resistance plus one save, and really I'd like to get a higher save than one. Um, let's see what we, what we have in terms of wrist. Uh, that's a higher fortification. I like that. It gives us a bonus on AC. I don't know that our AC is good enough that we care about our AC. AC is the type of thing. It's 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 an all or nothing. That's also six thousand. Hmm. It's a little above our price range, but you know we'll note it. It's a possibility. Anything we could do to get this fortification up is good. Let me also take a look at augments here real quick because if we do get a nope, if we did happen to get a sapphire augment, that would be great. Let's take a look at rings because I think our rings are some of the weakest, and uh, we have a con plus two item that could and you know the combustion's doing nothing for us, and we have basically feather falling and the diplomacy is not important to us. So let's see if we can we can upgrade the ring. We do have this. Uh, Feather Falling Ring here, level 1. That's probably just going to go on the bank. Um, we have this ring that's Acid Absorb, Acid Resistance. I'd like to get more rings like that. For I'd like to get something like that for Electric. Uh, going into level 2 Reapers, having Electric Resistant Absorb would be a big benefit because we're probably not going to make all of our saves. Of course, getting a save item would help that as well. But let's take a look and see what we find in terms of rings. Acid Absorb we already have. And resistance we already have, and we have them both on the same ring. Um, hide and bluff. Uh, this is a straight up upgrade from our constitution ring. Not bad. All right, this gives us electric absorb and false life, so only one less than our belt. So potentially, this looks like a pretty good item. It's kind of up against our maximum, but. Um, yeah, and then of course this is a straight up upgrade from our con item and it gives us a little more false life than our belt so that's not bad so we're pretty much um, up against the max we want to spend here you know plat is still hard to come by for us uh, so that's it for rings let's take a look at boots Uh, pretty much we are just going to use this as a swap item, so whatever we get is probably better than what we have. It looks like there's a lot of feather fall, nothing cheap, and we're not finding things for like a thousand. We're finding, you know, everything's like three thousand. But dodge feather falling, that, that, that gives us a three percent mischance. That's probably about as good as it gets. The good guard, um, it's okay, but I, I think I'd rather see you know have feather falling there and then we could free up our slot our both our, our ring and our uh, cloak because cloaks the other place that we have uh, feather fall all right so that's good so um, I like the electric absorb let's see if we find a cloak sometimes you can find a cloak with both electric absorbs on it all right we have sonic absorb hmm, we have electric resist and feather falling so that's about 5,000. That's actually interesting because then if we had this and we had that other ring, we would have both electric resistance and electric absorb. I think they're both overpriced, but um, you know we're not getting them in drops. I, I mean, traditionally I have seen a lot of these in drops, but we have not been getting them so far. We probably will get quite a bit of more choices there when we do the harbor quests, but Again, I want to go, you know, my party for the harbor is going in with electrical resist, electrical absorb. I'd like to have more hit points. Uh, I'd like to upgrade a few things if possible. But, you know, uh, we'll, we'll just do what we can. 
All right, so I'm really leaning towards this item, and the last thing I want to look at is belts. Uh, this is a straight up, you know, five hit point belt, level one. I mean, it seems like we should be able to do better. Unfortunately, I don't see much in the way of belts better. Um, double strike actually wouldn't be bad. It's level six. Dodge four is not bad. But let's let's start with our priority, which is the electric resistance. Uh, I didn't really see a good saves item. Unfortunately, let's see, you usually head or, but they did have a nice upgrade here, which is just a straight up upgrade to our uh, sheltering item and, and finding the traps might be very helpful. So let's start with the two things that gave us the electric absorb. We'll go to jewelry, we'll go to rings. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Uh, even though it has a useless suffix, I think the important thing here is the electric absorb. We just want to give ourselves whatever we can to avoid getting dying from like a one shot from a, uh, a champion or a reaper. So we've kind of committed that. Now we'll commit to the cloak. This, this feather falling electrical resistance cloak. And I'm just going to run over to the, um, or actually, let's see, that leaves us with 7,000. Um, I don't think the gem bag is, is absolutely critical. So uh, we have Feather Falling, so this is effectively not needed. I think we could just sell this. Um, open lock item. I, you know, I don't know, uh, this I want to keep, the Acid Absorb, Acid Resistance. In fact, maybe we'll just wear this, you know, because Acid is also, you know, could be a thing, and Fire is also a big thing. I'd rather have Fire than Acid, but, um, and let's see, we, we could do straight up Con Ring, um, but we only have 7,000 left, so let's take a look and see what else they had in Rings. Let's see, our constitution is 18, so it's an even number. So going from two to four makes no difference. And if we look at any of these stats, everything's in an even number, so, except for strength. So the only thing that would be worth upgrading would be strength. I, these are pretty gonna be pretty tough gloves to top, but let's see if we get lucky. Mm, we could deadly, but not the strength. So yeah, I mean, I, these are pretty good gloves, uh, even at level six. And let's go uh, again, double check on belts. I didn't really see. I mean, double strike 2%, strength 2 is not bad. I mean, the strength is really redundant for us. You know, dodge 4% is not bad. Jump 7, you know, not necessary, but, you know, I mean, jumping uh, could help a little bit. So. We'll just take, let's double check on boots. I'm kind of leaning towards that 4% dodge. We already have feather fall, so we don't need these. And the good guards, I mean, they are, they are sort of interesting. I don't think we need the dexterity as much, although that would help us with our saves as well. And, um,. One last check on bracers. That's a common item for save. And I'm just not seeing. I'm seeing ricocheting, which is protection. Staunch is resistance. So actually, this is giving us, we need fortification, though, for reapers. So we can't give that up. So we're just going to have to bite the bullet here um, on saves. Yeah, I and mean, we can't afford any of this, so uh, I had, let's check one last time on hats. Uh, we did have this, so that might be worth doing, just a straight-up upgrade on our hat. Gives us a little more damage reduction.
So, yeah, unfortunately, I've seen saves here a few times, but every time I've not had the plat. So, uh, uh, that's okay. Let's see, we've checked rings, we've checked belts, trinkets. There's really not much at this level available. So probably our best our best thing is going to be this dodge four percent belt, uh, but uh, then we lose the false life, and I don't know resistance plus one. We don't you know this we're going to lose this set bonus. Hmm. I think we're good for now. We'll just keep the seven thousand, and maybe something will drop for us. Uh, uh, anyhow, I'm going to run first thing. I'm going to run the housekeeping quest. To try to get that trinket on hard the drop rates about half of elite but i uh, don't think that's a pretty tough quest and don't think i'm quite up for doing that on elite yet i think um that's one that we may may or may not do on reaper so i am gonna up i'm gonna level up we do have a feat coming And for skill points, we're going to stick with our um, maxing, disable, and search. And it's a good thing we have that plus four item uh, because we we uh, our spots falling behind. And for feats, this is this is a tough one. Um, You know, we could we could go with power attack for a little more DPS. I mean, that's not a small, uh, you know, not a small difference. But but we lose five to our attack bonus, so we might get more glancing blows. So that it's tough to know. That's probably worth it. Stunning blow would be nice. Um, I might actually swap out something else and swap something in for this. We're really kind of leaning towards great swords, so we probably don't want to take this out uh, swords to plowshare. And so originally my plan was empower healing. That gives us a uh, 75 boost to our healing. Very significant at this level, uh, but it costs 10 spell points more and we're struggling kind of as it is with spell points. But um, I am going to Go ahead and stick with the original plan of going to empower healing. And then we may, you know, we're, we're going to get a free respec. Somewhere around level 10 or 11, we'll be able to respect a 32 point build and uh, we could change all these choices then for free effectively. And we also are able to run a quest to get a free fee change, which I'll show you uh, in another level or so. All right, so we've taken a level. Let's grab our gear and put it on and just double check that we don't have any big gaping holes. The biggest hole we have is saves. Hopefully something will drop for us. Uh, but you know, the biggest thing we'd worry about missing our saves on would be lightning bolt. And we, you know, we do have the electric resistance and electric absorb. So, um, Wisdom Cold Absorb comes out, Electric Resist, and Featherfall goes in, and for Ring, Electric Absorb, and False Life goes, I guess this will go out, because we want to keep our con, and uh, Electric Absorb and False Life is going to go in. So then the question is, do we put this death block uh, life force item on for seven more hit points? Uh, I don't think we have any other spot we're getting our resistance for plus one from. So that's going to hurt. Uh, let's just double check and make sure we don't have anything in the bank that we put there. I, nothing comes to mind that we had put there with resistance, but we might have something.
Nope. All right. So we are going to uh, go ahead and give up the plus one saves. Put this in our bank. Anger's gift. Hmm. Seven hit points. So let's let's let me put this in here. I guess it'll stick with Anger's gift since we don't have any boots and and we get the plus two attack bonus. Uh, this skull, uh, or this, we want to keep. Let's see, I thought, let's see, let's just go through and look at any, if there's any items we can get rid of here. Resist energy, we want to keep. We might even get another one. I don't think we need so many quarter staffs, so we sort of have this one as, uh, uh, to use against, to use against enemies that uh, destroy our weapons, like oozes and slimes. We don't need this cold absorb. In fact, I'm probably just going to sell it. I don't think it's that important to keep. And I guess this one I do want to keep. That might be good for next life. Uh, we'll probably get rid of it eventually, but same with this. I don't think we want to... We've got both of those as drops. Um, this, I think we got a better weapon recently, so I'm just going to get rid of that. We're going to put this in here. I don't think we need the death block, death ward right now, but we will at higher levels. Uh, it'd be great to keep it, but I think we'll sell it. I'm not sure why I, uh, this isn't that great of a weapon. I think we're going to put this this on the auction house, this great crossbow. Uh, the quarterstaff we definitely want to keep. Hireling we can get rid of. We're going to get a level, higher level hireling. Open lock. We'll keep it as a swap item. Why not? Um, diplomacy feather falling. I don't see a reason to keep that. We got this better feather falling ring. We'll keep this in case we run into some acid. And then I'm going to drop this feather falling ring in here. And now our bank's full, so we're going to have you know we're going to have to start getting rid of stuff here soon. Of course, these gems here would be probably our first priority to get rid of, and this pearl of power one. All right, so all this is going to get sold. I don't think we need that anymore. I don't think we need these. These can't be sold. And then I think I'd like to go down to two quarter staves. Keep that in there for a pinch. We're still using these for searching and, and spotting, although, do we have a search item? No. And that's our main weapon. Yeah, I don't think we need this and the chilled. I, I think I would tend to say let's get rid of the chilled and keep the acid they're both the same otherwise but there's just fewer things resistant to acid so I'll put this in the hot bar here and move it back and we have two quarter staff so I'm going to say we probably don't need our ooze bane quarter staff that bad we'll sell it Featherfall, we could put in the bank, but we have to get rid of something. I'll just eat one of these. They're not that important. And this is open lock. Well, we don't need two of those, although that's Wisdom 3 open lock. That's actually not a bad item. I think I originally saved this to sell it. We want to keep one bow, and then we're accumulating arrows. Any bolts we get, we're deleting, we're selling. And I think we're good there. We have a, that opened up actually several spaces, and we still have a few backup weapons and backups to the backup. 
Let's see, we don't have two of those, do we? Nope, just the one. All right, so we'll just uh, sell this one on the auction house. We're limited to one item, so the approach I've been taking is, you know, uh, we see people are selling these pretty expensive. I mean, we're buying stuff for 3000 so people will pay for it. This is a pretty nice item for level one. So let's only put it on there for about 24 hours, but let's see if we can't get a little more. Um, since we're always running low on flat, let's go 1500 with a buyout of 1800 Let's do 24 hours, and we'll see if that sells. Uh, let's also run over to the guild vendor. We've been a little bit a little bit light on uh, plat, so we haven't been able to buy as many potions as I'd like. Uh, we can get unbound potions in the marketplace, and I like to get them for things that we accumulate in quests, like the uh you know curse lesser restoration i think i bought 10 of these and i have actually had more or lesser restorations drop than i've used so uh if we get the ones in the guild from the guild vendor they're bound to character and they don't stack with things that, that drop so i'm going to get the poison here we went through quite a few of these so i'm going to go ahead and get 15. you can see they're a little a little expensive i'm going to use my clicky to get the price down a little bit And um, they do not have heroism potions here. Uh, they do have Eagle Splendor if we need UMD. Right now we don't really need UMD. But let's go to House K and uh, get some heroism potions. That'll give us plus two to our skills and plus two to our saves. So that might give us to where we could just take the extra seven hit points instead of uh, the resistance plus one. All right, we're gonna take twenty five of these if we can afford them. And we're going to probably run them constantly because of the plus two to uh, saves. And it also gives plus two to attack. I'm going to stick it up here with buffs. I really would like to um, get to the heroism tiers here, but we're you know we just don't have enough points yet. But I am going to spend three points here, and you know saves would be an option. But let me just show you what our damage reduction is now um, and why I'm doing this. We have a uh, PRR of 8, which gives a 7% damage reduction, and an MRR of 3, which gives 2.9% damage reduction. So you'll watch what happens here when I put 3 points into the PRR and MRR, and this stacks with everything, and then the final point here to our defender stance. And uh, I'll just drag this down. Click it. All right, and when this is on, this brings our damage reduction to 24.81% and our magic reduction to 21.88%. So uh, on these lightning bolts we're going to get from these cobalt shamans, we're, we're, we have a resist item, we have a uh, we have a we have we have a absorb item for electric. We're going to try to chug these. Heroism potions will give us plus two to our saves and our skills. And then I think I'm going to, in retrospect, I think I'm going to go ahead and go for those seven hit points. Just seems like hard to give up. And we got a few hit points from spending in this tree. Every point you spend gives you a hit point. So I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's sort of, I'm sort of on the bubble between the hit points and the attack bonus. Um,
but we're probably going to upgrade our boots first opportunity we get. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and uh, do this, and that brings us up to 145. Plus, once we're in Reaper, we'll get an additional 18. So that's a pretty big boost. We were at 118 last level in Reaper, and now we're going to be at 163. So that's it. We're ready to we're ready to go. Uh, let's get our cloak. Uh, no, we don't need this. Let's get rid of this. Let's see. Uh, I guess one last thing is let's go ahead and go to the guild vendor and sell our items. That we decided we didn't want anymore. And we're back up to 6,000. And I'm going to lock my uh, hotbar, and I think we're going to start off by farming housekeeping a few times on hard, and then running, um, and it would be nice if we had a fire resistant fire absorb, but the magic resist should help us a little bit, and I have this wand, in fact I'm going to get one more wand from the, well they have a wand vendor here, they also have a wand vendor outside. Your prices might be a little bit better in here. I'm just gonna stick it on the hot bar, just in case it doesn't, uh, in case it's a different type. This one is bound, and I think the other one we got was from the marketplace and is not bound, so I don't know if that'll just automatically fill in when we use the other one up. Normally they do. All right, well that's it. That's the wrap up. We have taken level six. We're going to be running some uh, quests, uh, a couple of quests just to try to get that trinket for Ethereal so we could use our better sword in the quest without having to swap swap weapons, uh, which I always find is not worth it. By the time the Reapers sneak up on you, you want to have that weapon already equipped. And um, if we don't get that, it's not a big deal. We'll just continue doing what we're doing. If we get it, that would be a big help. Uh, we'll definitely use it right away. Then we'll run the Reapers, and then we'll run the level th uh, three and four hard, normal and hard cleanup on the quest we haven't done yet. There's a few of those. And we'll run the level fours on normal hard. And we'll repeat the reapers until we have at least three reaper points at the end of this level.